This is Twit. It's been a long time since I changed the diaper, but I think you pretty much usually know when they're full. I think you have a, a sixth yeah. sense as a parent. Right, Lisa? Am so, I wrong? Can I can I tell a quick CES story? Yes. Because I, I read... So a few years ago when I was at CES, I was talking to somebody who had a little sensor you were to clip into the child's diaper. And then when the child's diaper got wet, the sensor would ping the yes. smartphone yes. and then tell you- That's this. And then tell, oh, the baby's wet, time to change the diaper. And I said, that's great. How many users does it ping at this to? And they said, oh, just one. And I said, so what you've done is you've created a device that guarantees one person is forever responsible for changing diapers. <laughs> Mom. What's wrong with that, mom? Or, oh, you have the diaper phone. You, you just pass it back and forth. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's like the talking well, stick. You got was, the diaper phone. You got the diaper it phone. It was it's just the such a weird. It was just such a weird thing to me because also, if you have a baby or a toddler who's in daycare and they have diapers there, what are you supposed to so do? Get pinged at work? They must all day have had because Huggies did this in Korea last yeah. year, so they must have had the Korean Huggies. So, Pampers has now so announced. So the question I have about this whole Pampers system is again, is the relationship going to be just one person gets alerts? No, or are that they would going be to, foolish. Or are they going to recognize that many children are raised in a household with more than one adult well, who's responsible for them? The alert thing is the easy thing to understand. What they're yeah. really selling is they want this to be a data collection yeah. point so that you can give to your doctor, yeah. this is what my child's that's bowel right. movements look like. No, they're, and, well, they're, they're, well, no that's, that doesn't take a picture. No, no. <laughs> No, there there are already apps though where I, I forget the name of the app that I actually used for like the first three or four Sorry months of my daughter's life where I logged how I logged sleep every, patterns. Well, probably. I logged every feeding, how often I was feeding yeah. her, how long a feeding lasted. Why did lasted. you do that? Um, because I was a freaked out for a second. Yeah, that's right. That's the real reason. <laughs> no, but it was it was also useful because I I did nurse and so it was a handy way to to because after all I, I was just like oh. when my when so Jennifer was, was, was pregnant really with, handy. with our yeah. first Abby, uh -huh. I handled my anxiety by writing a hypercard stack with which to. to Time contractions. Oh, there you go. That as, went out the window almost immediately. But, <laughs> but I looked at the, it was it was nice it was nice to have the data and actually track how often feedings were happening, how how long her sleep intervals were, when I was changing diapers, no, no. things like actually, that. Actually, this we'll do this. Yeah. So, um, weirdly, the one in Korea will send you a text alert when your child has pooped. The, <laughs> like you again, don't need something to you text. don't really need to know. <laughs> Poop. Pampers yeah. will only track urine. Not bowel movements, yeah. But <laughs> Pampers will it will track sleep as well, and I think that actually maybe is more useful. The Lumi by Pampers line, Pampers says there's a wait list. It'll be launching in the U.S. Mm -hmm. this fall. Has an activity sensor that secures to a quote landing yeah. on the front of the baby's diaper. It comes with a baby monitor and a 10-day supply of diapers. Uh, there's also an app to log the kid's pee and identify patterns. You're, this is really, See, this is helicoptering what are the, parenting. Well, one of the things I want to point out is there's a real pressure in U.S. parenting right now to quote unquote sleep train, to sleep train your baby. Oh. And one of the reasons there's that pressure is because an increasing number of parents in the U.S. don't have the luxury of having somebody who can stay with the baby and mm. not have to go to work the yeah, next day. Yeah, that's why. And so sleep training is effectively you trying to get the baby to sleep. Regularize so that, the sleep. So that workers aren't so exhausted. Yeah. And what this is, what this tool is effectively is it's a way to say, oh, you know, we can reduce the baby to a set of data that has needs. Apparently this isn't the first. Can, there are connected yeah. onesies mm -hmm. that double as sleep mm -hmm. trackers. Yeah. There's a robotic crib. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are needs to track some children's sleeps, especially sure. if they're premature and they've had sure. breathing difficulty, for example. Um, there are mattresses for that and there are onesies for that because some babies do have to like be taught how to breathe. The, the, the app will display one, one of yeah. three diaper statuses, dry, wet, or very wet. Oh, good. <laughs> parents, Pampers yeah. spokesperson told CNN Business, parents didn't ask for a poo or pee alarm. They wanted something more like the smartwatches of today. Mm -hmm. The activity sensor tracks baby sleep, and since yeah. it's there on the diaper, well, it can also track They want it to be like sweat. a smartwatch. Are yeah. they going to allow you to gamify? Can you <laughs> right, compete complete with the rings other parents? And, yeah, yeah, complete My the baby rings. filled its rings today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Several times. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see what the yellow ring's for. What's the brown ring for? <laughs> Well, okay, but from the business side, this yeah. is Pampers the starter. Mm -hmm. They they want because, you know, diapers that makes sense. But you could see they want to sell you the baby monitors. They want mm -hmm. to sell you the cameras. They want to sell mm -hmm. you the little connected temperature strips so that you can keep a, a running log of of your baby's temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, they see so much money because 
over the last 10 years, baby tech has become its own pavilion at CES. It yeah. generates wow. billions of dollars. Oh, yeah. wow. And Pampers feels left out because they've got this, the old dumb Pampers, the, 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 you know, the little... Kathy well, the Hirsch problem, well, the problem with Pampers is that you don't have a lifelong customer base. Right. Your customer base ages out of the product optimally. And even uh, if the you funny have, thing well, is, even if you have they can't age back ages in. Out, it. it ages in. Yeah. <laughs> but even if you have it multiple depends. children, you're, you're only going to be buying diapers for a finite period of time. But if you've got all this data on how your kid is doing, yeah. then this gives them an opportunity to spin off products that they and can then use to yes. touch the family that's at the different concern. inflection points that's and That's the concern. CNN talked to Kathy Hirsch-Pasek, president of the mm -hmm. International Society for infant studies the more we have analytics on babies the more we worry it actually matters that we've calculated this this creates a frenetic mm -hmm. feeling when you're a parent yeah and that is that is the problem which and is you can get nutty from the data yeah. privacy side i am always worried whenever one of these traditional companies seems to make a play mm -hmm. for the internet of things because yes it's great to have the data do you know how to secure the data? Yeah. yeah. And increasingly, yeah. That, that answer is no, no, absolutely not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I am just happy that I have found a panel that can have a hot take on every subject, <laughs> including smart diapers. <laughs>